In this video, I'm going to show you how to download TensorFlow 2 onto your Raspberry Pi for all your machine learning needs. You can't just pip install TensorFlow, so we're going to install it through a community hosted wheel. Now we got to find the right wheel file. And to do that, let's look at the architecture of your Raspberry Pi. Here I'm SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi. Maybe you access your Raspberry Pi as a desktop, and so if that's the case, open a terminal. We just need to get to the terminal of the Raspberry Pi. All right, architecture uname-m, I have the ARM v7 architecture, and then next command here, all these commands are down in the description by the way, you can follow along there, cat slash etc os dash release, and basically this is looking to see if we have a recent operating system. In case you don't, I would recommend you do sudo apt update and then sudo apt full upgrade to get a more recent operating system. And also, I've only tested this with Raspberry Pi OS. If you're running Ubuntu or some other OS on your Raspberry Pi, I can't guarantee this will work, but it's worth a shot. And then finally, let's check our Python version, python-v. And all Raspberry Pi OS comes with Python installed. Um, so if you're running Python, you want Python 3. You might need to do Python 3-v, depending. But let's get Python 3. I have Python 3.7 here. And now I'm going to follow this link right here. And this is a bunch of shell commands to help us download the right version of TensorFlow. We've got all these TensorFlow 1s, TensorFlow 2s, but basically I'm looking for one that's Python 3.7 right here. And then also, rather than the Arch64, I want the ARM v7 architecture. So I'm going to pick this one right here. And it also has a NumPy specification. And this is helpful later on. Just note that if you look at the later versions, 3.9, 3.9 for TensorFlow 2.7, the only options are Arch64. If it's the case that you have Python 3.9 and only ARM v7 running on your Raspberry Pi, that means you have a 32-bit operating system. And it's not supported for the TensorFlow 2.7. So I would recommend you downgrade your Python. And you can do that with a command like pym. I have a tutorial for that here. Feel free to watch that if you need to downgrade your Python. And then we can get a different version of TensorFlow that's compatible with your architecture. Okay, so which one did I pick? I picked this one, and I'm going to open that. And we'll come back to this later. Back to the instructions in the terminal. Okay, let's make our project directory. Make dir project. I'm just going to call this folder project and change directories into project. Great, we're gonna do a virtual environment. In case you don't have virtual environment installed, let's install that first. I already have it installed. And now let's create a virtual environment. Python-m virtual env env. And I would recommend doing virtual environments for things like TensorFlow because package versioning matters a lot. Great, now let's activate our environment. Source, env, bin, activate. Now let's install some packages. These are system-wide packages. This big list right here. And then some Python packages. We don't actually need to install these. Let's go back to this internet browser. The three dots here, we want to view raw and copy that URL. Control C to copy. Okay, back to my instructions in terminal. And we're just going to download that file using the command w git and then that URL. Great. And now we want to make this into an executable. And just to show you, ls to list the, list the items in the directory, we have that shell file downloaded now. Okay, sudo chmod plus x, and then that file. So if you just type the name of the file down and start typing it and press tab, it should autofill. Okay, so now we're allowed to run that as an executable file. And so we're going to just run it. So period forward slash and then 
down and tab to autocomplete, run. And this is downloading the appropriate wheel file for our TensorFlow installation. Okay, now if we ls to list, oops, over, we gotta go over here. All right, all done. Now if we list the items in our directory, we see we now have this WHL wheel file at the bottom. And this is how we're going to install TensorFlow. So just in case, let's uninstall any other versions of TensorFlow you might have, because these will be conflicting otherwise. Pseudo pip uninstall TensorFlow, and then pip uninstall TensorFlow. Great, and I didn't have it installed, that's a good sign. And now, ls to list the item in the directory, I'm going to install off of that wheel file. So, pip install, I'm just going to start typing tens, and then tab to autocomplete. Okay, all installed. Now, let's restart the terminal with the command exec dollar sign shell in all caps. This gets us out of our virtual environment, so let's go back into it. Source, not in all caps. Source env bin activate. Moment of truth. Let's see if it worked. Python, to get into a Python interpreter, import. TensorFlow. Okay, this is good. So, uh, this error, we'll take care of it in a sec, but let's just do tensorflow.version, and then two underscores on each side of version, and we got 2.5.0, great. Quit to get out of the Python interpreter. And so, what this warning is saying is that we have a mismatched version of HDF5 with our H5Pi installation. So we just need to reinstall H5Pi with the right version of HDF5. So that's number nine here in the instructions if you're following along. I need to add pip uninstall uninstall H5Pi. So we're going to run that first remove our current version of H5Pi, and now I have the version all written out here. Okay, and now I'm, I'm going to replace desired version of HDF5 with, here it says H5Pi is running against HDF5 1.10.6, but it was built with 1.10.4, so here we're going to put 1.10.6, enter. And just so you know, that does take a little while. Now if we go back into our Python interpreter, Python, and then import TensorFlow. No error, good import. Let's do TensorFlow version to see if it actually works, and it does. There we go. That's how we install TensorFlow on a Raspberry Pi, specifically TensorFlow 2.5 on a Raspberry Pi. If you have any questions or get stuck anywhere, feel free to leave a comment. And also check out my channel because I have some other Raspberry Pi tutorials that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching.